February 11th, 2018, 6, 10 p.m., 81 degrees outside of Central Florida, heading back to the last night uh, OUC lights over by the power grid. Um, they have been on this since uh, a week after February the 27th, 2017. As you can see here, the little guys that probably weren't visible last night. And uh, here we are. Boom. Hold on. There you go. That's the same scenery from last night. I call this the target area. If I ever wanna, if I ever actually do a CE5 contact to the point that uh, I can talk with them uh, face to face, this is where I want it to happen because it's right next to my house. And there it is. You see the truck right there, right? Perfectly in place where the light was at, at the same distance. Now hold on, I'm going to try to put on the telescope. Here we go. How about that? There's your OUC utility vehicles. And why is it that the image is so crappy, like every other image? We're holding this offhand, okay? And that micro movement is just my nerves, the pulse, the blood coursing through my veins. And you see the wire right there? Touching, hanging loosely as they lay new wire. Like I said, February 27, 2017 was my UFO sighting. On that was the UFO that was flying next to these power lines, but all the way up, like three miles up the road, it, where it was at, near my kid's school. Which is basically exactly what I asked for when I did my CE5 in October. Right? I did the CE5, I meditated, I called, I contacted, and then I began thinking on what would be the more credible evidence for me. And I said, well, in the middle of the day, not at nighttime, multiple witnesses following this power grid line which is easy access to where my location is for anybody to fly under the radar if they wanted to and uh, well sure enough I got everything exactly like I asked for um, and then when it happened I didn't believe it and there's OUC still fixing the row of antennas is that going to stop them from being able to drain electricity from the power grid to recharge their batteries or whatever because that's what I think is what's going on I think that uh, I think that earthbound ships have the ability to recharge from any available source of energy that they can get Hydrothermal power, electrical grid power, probably being the easiest one accessible throughout the United States, um, even nuclear power. They don't need to collect the dust, they don't need to collect the... What the fuck was that?
I don't know, there's something all the way over there that's shining light, but with all this OUC vehicles present, I don't see them. Which is uh, yeah, let's so see if I could just I gotta go to work. It's 616. See it? I don't know. Oh, ah. Uh, are there roadways over there? No. Yeah, um, there might be some roads, there is roads all the way over there, but I'm not sure how much we can actually see it. I need a bigger telescope to actually turn it to get to see all the way over there. We're talking nearly five miles away, and it is that time for car lights, and that would be similar to, it is at ground level, it is a consistent pattern of movement, so yeah. It might be cars all the way over there. And there is a highway. Yes, there is a highway that goes above ground uh, that is actually visible. Uh, but that would be for another day. All right. And that could be confirmed if it repeats itself every single time we come by here and do the same thing. See ya, everybody. Don't forget, your light unto the world casts light and love only. All right. Bye.